Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cody. Welcome to my Clockwork City Magicka Sorcerer setup. This is not my build, and I'm putting this out here because a lot of you guys have been wanting me to put up a Magicka Sork build, and you guys are probably wondering why I'm on why am I on the ESO build editor? I'm on the build editor because it's easier for me to put together builds that I don't have in like the actual game. So I don't have all this gear yet. And I'm going to be working on getting it this week so I can play Magic of Sorcerer on stream and put some more PvP content on Magic of Sorcerer. But anyways, guys, this is what I am running, or I want to run. So we are a High Elf, and we're running the Atronach Mundestone. We have 64 points into Magicka. And we're running 5 Shackle Breaker, 5 Wizards Repost on the back bar. You only need to run this on one bar because... It's a 15 second debuff onto your opponents. They will have minor maim on them for 15 seconds, and that is a really long uptime. Basically, you don't really you don't really need it on both bars since it's such a long uptime. On the front bar, we have a Master Inferno Staff that is going to buff our Flame Reach, which is now our new spammable since we do not have a CC with frags. So instead of Crushing Shock, Flame Flame Reach is going to be where it's at. So this is going to increase the tooltip by 2,000. And reduce the cost of it by 30 percent it's great skill and it's a wonderful cc you can use it from 28 meters and hits pretty damn hard with master inferno staff and it's great so wizards are post jewelry three spell damage if you're having trouble sustaining magicka what i would do is i'd put a magic recovery glyph on there we're running an infused restoration staff wizards are post with the weapon damage enchantment basically you got a light attack real quick and you'll have the 452 spell damage added it's really powerful and we're running Shackle Breaker, hands, legs, feet, and chest, and a pause. So we're running one Blood Spawn. Now you can run one Blood Spawn, one Choke Thorn. Like you can run a one Magic Recovery piece, a one Spell Damage, whatever you want. You can put really whatever you want here. I'm going to run Blood Spawn. All Magic Glyphs, all in pen. Guys are probably wondering if you're new, why are you running in pen? You have shields, shields can't be crit. When your shields do drop, Impen really does help, guys. You should run Impen. It's like the best in slot PvP trait. And for the free running Clockwork Citrus Filet, this is really expensive. So if you can't get that, then you can go and get Witch Mother's, Witch Mother's Potent Brew. Same thing, but you'll get more Magicka with this one. So, oops. These are what our skills look like. We have Daedric Minefield, Crystal Fragments, Flame Reach, Haunting Curse, Endless Fury, and Dawnbreaker Smiting. If you're running what the tooltips look like, we have a 16k crystal frag tooltip without it being procced, a 14k curse, and a 14.5k dawnbreaker. Back bar harness, dark conversion, streak, hardened ward, healing ward, and light champion. So on top of your pretty nice magic recovery pull, the other ways you're going to be sustaining is dark conversion. Since you do have good stam recovery, it's going to be easy. And with unchained passive, when you CC break, this should cost nothing. So if you're wondering about how the burst rotation goes, you put a curse on them. Then you go into your flame reaches, and then you can put an execute in there. You can sneak on execute, since the execute will last for 4 seconds. And then you pretty much just wait for your frag to proc, and you want to time the frag with the haunting curse. It's best to get a frag, hopefully after the flame reach, because you can shoot the frag while they're in the air from the CC. I put all the buffs, guys, so I'm going to be linking this build in the description below. So it already has everything. It has major sorcery, major intellect, all that good stuff. So this is what the stats look like, if you can see right here. Really good spell critical. And this is our CP. I'm just going to breeze through this. You can pause when you'd like. Or you can just click the description below. But this is my CP. You do not have to copy the CP. This is just what I think is a pretty good pretty, pretty good so solid CP setup. And that's it for the CP. I hope you guys enjoy this build. I'm going to be farming DSA this week with probably Deltia. And trying to get all the gear. So yeah. And honestly guys, one more thing. A really good alternative would probably be Dami House. That would really, really help. Dami House is really good. I don't have Dami House yet, but you can definitely run that as the one piece. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. And we're running Spell Power Critical Pots. I forgot to mention that. The ones that give Major Prophecy, Major Intellect, the Magicka Back, and Sorcerer. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been Cody. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Try and play it. It's really good. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.